everybody, Geoarm Security here, and today we're going to show you how to program the Honeywell 5834-4 four-button wireless key transmitter into the Lynx Touch L5210 all-in-one home and business security system. The first thing we're going to want to do is remove the 5834-4 from its manufacturer box. Simply remove the sticker that holds the box together, open it up. And keep in mind, while you're opening this box, make sure you keep all the original packaging in resellable condition in the event that you need to return it. So we're going to go ahead and remove the key fob itself. We're going to place that to the side. And we also want to remove the instructions for the key fob. Remember, keep this, keep this handy uh, just for a while. Now you'll notice on the 5834-4s, the new ones, you'll notice it's it has a little sticker on it that says high security mode must be activated in the control for the 5834-4. So this is in high security mode and I'm going to show you just how to program the key fob when it comes like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select security, more, tools, and we're going to enter in the installer code. By default, it is 4112. You're going to select program. And you're going to go ahead and select keys. You could program it individually through zones, but it'll take longer. And this is a much easier route. So select keys. And you'll notice there's no key fobs at this time programmed into the panel. So go ahead and select add new. It'll take you to this screen here, into the programming screen. You want to make sure that it is a 4 button because we are programming the 4 button, the dash 4. All right, you want to assign a user to it. This is very important. So here you're not actually naming it. You're actually attaching it to an actual user that you've programmed into the panel. We're going to go ahead and use master. And a cool thing about when it assigns a user to the key fob is that any time that this particular key fob uh, which is the master key fob is used in your event history you can go back and see that that uh, that this key fob was used to disarm the system and I'll show you about that as well next we're gonna go ahead and select serial number where we're gonna learn the serial number in and if you open up your instruction manual you will see that each individual key can remove the sticker each individual key will be assigned a loop number so now if you look on your wireless key transmitter installation and setup guide you'll see that the top left button is programmed as loop 3 and loop 2 is programmed as the top right button the bottom left button is going to be loop 4 and then loop 1 is going to be this auxiliary fourth button so that makes it seem a little complicated all we're going to do at this point is we're going to press the top left button and uh, in increments of three so one the panel will acknowledge with a beep two you'll notice that loop three as we told you in the top left will come up along with the serial number located in the back select it one more time and that learns the serial number in now you'll see the first available zone is 140 and button one is zone 140 Zone 2 is 141, 3 is 142, and the auxiliary is 143. So that's why programming it through keys is much easier. It pretty much takes care of all the, the legwork for you. In this particular video, we're going to show you how to program this red asterisk or the audible or auxiliary key on the 5834 as a 24-hour auto audible or auxiliary which is basically a medical alert button so if somebody was to hold this button down it will dispatch the medical services to do that you're gonna select the bottom right button key 4 you're gonna select 24 hour auxiliary you're gonna go ahead and click save now you're gonna back out to the home screen and you'll notice that this key fob the light will turn red as we showed you earlier, it's in high security mode. To take it out of high security mode, you're going to hold the top right and the bottom two buttons all at the same time for five seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Now the key fob should work. Disarmed. Ready to 
warm. Chime. As you can see, so now I'm going to go ahead and hold this audible button in the bottom right. And that's to dispatch the medical services. It's not silent, there's an actual sounder. You can either deactivate from the key fob or from acknowledging at the panel. Disarmed. Not ready to arm. Disarmed. Ready to arm. Chime. And either way, you're going to have to do it. You're going to have to acknowledge from the key fob twice or from the panel twice. And that's how you program a 5834-4 wireless key transmitter into the Lynx Touch L5210 all-in-one home and business security system using a 24-hour audi hour audible or medical panic button. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and view our blog at DIYSecurityBlog.com. If you need to reach us by phone, our number is one 877 443-6276.